should plastic bags be banned? Answer. Plastic bags have recently been deemed to be a genuine blood on the landscape and seascape of the world. The items which have long been considered a huge eyesore, a serious hazard to health and a grave threat to the environment. As a consequence, a blanket ban on such single-use products has been proposed with a view to curbing their massive impact. From a perspective, this proposal is egregious. Given the pronounced merits plastic carry bags have to offer, and the complications of supplanting them by sustainable and compostable alternatives, to embark with imposing an outright ban on plastic bags is inadvisable due to the positive advantages they bring. First of all. Plastics are renowned for their durability and long lifespan. They could sit in a landfill for one thousand years, rendering them a great asset because they can be reused almost endlessly with the passing of time. The second notable competitive edge of such disposable bags, of such disposable bags, over their rivals. Is their water resistance feature, which is particularly useful when it comes to accommodating wet goods, for example, frozen seafood and soup. These bags also do consumers a great service in that they take up minimal space due to their compact size and light weight, thus enhancing their mobility and portability. Last but not least, no other footloose and plastic-free alternatives can compare to the affordability of these versatile products, which have gained favor from people from all walks of life, making them the bestseller in many nations. To exemplify, currently in Vietnam, a kilogram of plastic bags is readily available at a price of. Ten thousand to twenty thousand VND, which doubtlessly woos more buyers as opposed to fifty thousand to one hundred thousand VND for the same proportion of their environmentally friendly counterparts. In addition, the impracticality of a prohibition on the plastic bags is attrib- attributable. To the insurmountable challenges facing the manufacturers in the pursuit of optimal substitutes, specifically, paper bags are the very epitome of such ineffective and inefficient replacements, which, due to their great water absorbency, often fail dismally to contain the corresponding amount of goods easily accommodated by their plastic equivalents. This is to, this is not to mention the massive carbon footprints left during their making, because according to the findings of a comprehensive research published in 2018 by an Australian state government agency, more energy is required to produce and transport paper containers. Another suggestion is biodegradable plastic bags made from. For instance, vegetable starch, the exorbitant price of which, nonetheless, provenly discourages consumers from opting for them. This is coupled with the fact that these items do not even live up to their very ecologically benign nature. As I have still had a load of these bags sitting at the bottom of my allotment after five years. The final option is reusable cotton bags, which have been scientifically proven to retain an overwhelming residue, residue of bacteria, for instance, E. coli, and some, and 
、um, salmon, salmonella, salmonella. The notorious culprits of such intestinal of, of such intestinal infectious diseases,、uh, such as bloody diarrhea and gastroenteritis. To recapitulate, I opine that the imprudent act of prohibiting plastic bags is no different from putting a finger on the spigot of a time when we need to suppress the tidal wave. Taking into consideration the well-documented merits of plastic shopping bags and the dearth of practical and long-term alternative commodities, hence it is high time governments collaborated with enterprises all over the world, together coming up with a wider array of action pub actionable public policies. And enhancing recycling infrastructure and technology to address these issues. For the time being, I believe, quality tote bags and shopping carts may possibly be the best substitute grocery containers for shoppers. And that is the end of my answer.